weird that we have no idea where we're going to be sleeping tonight. I think that's awesome. I think it's really fun to just flow with the wind and see where it takes us. We're just driving around this town like it's the town we live in. And... It is the town we live in. I don't know. It's weird. Right now it is anyway. It's a weird feeling. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's cool. But I'm sort of distracted looking at everything and I, I feel like I'm going to drive over a curb again. <laughs> that was scary. That's not like me, is it? Yeah, she just totally <laughs> drove over, not a curb, an island. She just drove over an entire <laughs> island. Oh wait, there's an auto zone. Yeah, that's what I was talking that's about earlier. Not, okay, they don't even look like where they are. That's a big auto zone though. They probably have a lot of good stuff. Yeah. See, the headlights still suck. It looks like the bikes are still there. In... <laughs> oh, by the way, we got rid of the bikes. We got rid of the bikes. You know what we did? We just walked into Walmart and said, we don't want these. And they took them back and gave us our money back. <laughs> Listen, Walmart's doing fine. They are, like, they're making so much money in the current climate of things because everything else is shut down. It's not hurting them at all. Yeah. There's advanced the auto parts. Sucked, right there. Like, so, I'd like to hear in the comments below, do you prefer AutoZone or advanced auto parts? I think it's advanced, I know. not advanced. Oh, advance auto parts. Yes. Advance. What do you like better? AutoZone or advance well, auto parts? They're not parts? very accommodating for a truck because they didn't think the parking spots big enough. Just pull right across the front. So when we were in Connellsville and the guys who worked at the AutoZone uh, helped us, they were super helpful, really nice, and I liked it there. And it was, that was an AutoZone. In Jamestown, I find that the advanced auto parts I like better. Yeah. In auto zone. Is that the one down the street from us? Yeah, the one. Yeah, I like that place too. On Second Street. Yeah, I like that yeah. Place. they're really nice people. They have a lot of selection. They have good stuff. Um, they come out and put your wiper blades on for you when you buy exactly. new wipers. Auto zone is the one by Aldi, and they're just not as good. But um, so yeah, tell me, what do you like better, Auto Zone or Advanced Auto Parts, and why? Why do you like one better than the other? I think a lot of people even know. They probably just, like, if they need something from the auto store, they just, like, go. They don't even pay attention to what it's called. Yeah, I feel like I always say up. AutoZone even if I'm going to advance auto parts. Yeah, AutoZone's a lot easier. They have a clever name. Yeah, it is. Like, they were smart. It's just like brand names. Like, when you use a tissue, a lot of people say, give me a Kleenex. Yeah. The Kleenex isn't what it's called. That's the brand name. That's the point. All right, let's go in before they close. And I'm going to Look, wait here. it's already dark. We still haven't even left. <laughs> It's town yet. Typical, typical us. But Every we want to see if they can. Uh, leaving early, it never happens. Maybe uh, we can have brighter lights after going into this place. It's not gonna happen. Maybe we need brighter light bulbs. Is what we need. Yeah, let's see about that. I should be able to see that my headlights are on right now. I can't even see them. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but this one is much brighter than this one. This one's kind of yellowy and cloudy, kind of. See me? Yep. Hi. All right. So we decided we need brighter headlights. We returned the bikes to Walmart because they were creating way too much of a shadow on the street in front of the lights. But the lights still seem very dim. So we came and got new headlights and looked up online how to do this. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's quite easy. There's these two tabs here. You see them? This tab here and this tab here. You just gotta pop them up. Look how easy that was. This one is a little bit harder. I use any, they said to use channel locks, it doesn't matter, just anything. Push it in and up and it pops up easy. Once you've done that, it comes right out, like nothing. That was easy, wasn't it? There's another little thing that holds it on the bottom that yeah. you kinda see gotta this wi thing here? wiggle out. Can you see that? It goes into this hole. It's got, it has to pop in when you put it back and it just wiggles out but you saw how easy that came out this is the first time I messed with this at all and then you actually best thing to do here oh, look at that this one's already broken so it just slides off like that you change the bulb like this that comes out and then you put the new bulb don't in. touch the bulb with your fingers though yeah you never touch the glass with your fingers gonna use one hand 
We want to make sure that it's lined up properly. Okay. So you do that. And then you line these little slots up. To screw it in place. There. That's it. It's in place. And then you just slide this into there. Done. It's as easy as that. Seriously, so easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I am not in any way an auto guy. Just show the people how to do it. <laughs> we realized that our plan of doing more day driving wasn't working out. So we need to be true to our nature and just make reparations so that we can continue night driving. So, so hopefully this makes a huge difference. I hope so. I use the flashlight from my phone. Oh, and there's a little trick that I did. I use the wrench to hold my phone in place for me. Uh, I wasn't filming that part, I was filming this part. Gotta get it lined up. There. Just wiggle it a little. There. It's lined up and it's in. And then once you get it. Is it seated, in is that part in the hole okay down there? You tell me. Yes. Is it? It doesn't look like it is, actually. No, I need to pop in a little further. There. Mm. There. And then you push this down. I don't really need the light anymore. But. It's probably not in the right place. That's why it's not going oh, down. Oh, it isn't. Right. It just needs to go in this hole. It didn't in the video I watched online. No. Oh. It just goes in the slot there or something. There, that needs to be in that hole. And this is back. I also put my crowbar I happen to have a crowbar that helps me just kind of position the little things into the right holes. Okay, so it's in place, but you gotta make sure it stays in place now. That's what that's what these little tabbies are for. Tabby, I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but you get it lined up. Let's switch spots and I'll get it in there for you. Because really? it's not in, in the bottom, right? It is. It should like oh. click right in there. And it's not. It's gonna fall out on the highway like our hubcap. You saw did. how easy it came out. That should pop right down. Here, let's here. You got it? Yep. That side. No. It's seated. There. Okay. That's it. See? Simple. Ford E350 Econoline 2005 model. That's how you do it. Okay. So, go turn them on? Yeah. Let's see. Shine them right in my face here on the... No, you do it. Go turn them on. Let's see our new headlamps do regular and then brights. <clears throat> There's the new bright. They look a lot better. Okay, high beams. Okay, so hopefully now we're gonna have much better visibility. We'll have Angelo do some footage while I'm driving and we'll see how it looks once we get on a dark back road so yay for YouTube teaching us how to do this and hopefully someone else will learn how to do this from us posting this video and yay for there being an advanced auto parts right nearby when we needed them so thank you advanced auto parts <laughs> okay pack it up and let's get driving we're gonna save these bulbs in case we end up with a padiddle at least we have something <clears throat> okay signing off bye Look how much better our lights are now.
we could actually see the road ahead of us. Plus there's no glare of shiny handlebars. But I think that you go through there and you get to a meadow. That's just the entrance. We, we turned off a little early on Fort Perry Road and there was a big fence around the property and we thought, oh no, they must have changed it, must have closed. And then I looked at the map and it looked like we were just needed to drive a little further down the road. And we found this spot and uh, there was actually a sign that says Camp Road. I don't know if you could see that. A little scary, late at night, dark. But I think we're gonna drive down and see what's the end of this road. Deep dark woods. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't think wild boars jump into windows, but you never know. Yeah, there was also a sign that said wild boars, so that's a little scary. Yeah, we can read it online. I don't think so. This is why it's better to drive during the day and arrive before dark at your spot. But we never do that. We never do what's better. Back into the deep dark woods. I'll roll my window back up again. I notice that there's no uh, Spanish moss anymore. I don't think. Maybe that's some Spanish moss right there. Another sign. Yeah, there's another sign right there. Please do not enter field for any reason. Prior to 10 o'clock on opening day. I think we were supposed to be back there in that space. Yeah, I think Did maybe. Did it say camping area? Yeah. It said that. I think that was the camping area. Uh, maybe. Nope. We're Angelo and Ilsa, a couple of out-of-work theater producers from Western New York, wandering around the South aimlessly in our 15-year-old Ford E350 shuttle bus. Subscribe and join us in our Inspire engine and see what life is really like when you're living in a van down by the river.
Jack Daniel Southern Peach. Because we're in Georgia. The peach state. The peach state. <laughs> and I have raspberry tea. Georgia peach. She got peach tea. This is our first day of nice hot weather. It's 68 degrees. It's hot and it feels good. It's wonderful. We were planning to drive today, but now we're doing this instead. Because we can. Because we can. Yeah. Cheers to that, folks. Should we do the Swedish skull? Yeah. Should we sing? Yes. B. 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 Skål av för alla vänner. Vi skål av för dem som känner och dem som inte känner. Dem skålar vi för. I didn't swear because we were on camera. Skål. 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 Where does it go? Oh. Let's hear Langor. Ready? Now you're supposed to drink the whole thing, but don't drink the whole thing, just take a sip. I was like on the bike ride. <laughs> I was like hiding like behind the bike in the bike rack. <laughs> cool. Okay, how does it count? Open this for me. Okay, Kathy, you count. I'm gonna go hide. Show me where. Uh, follow where my hiding spot is. Okay. It's like, it's over your hand. Tiny bit, because it's very sensitive. Yeah. <sighs> I wouldn't use that. Too hot? Uh-huh. Okay. Really hot. Your gadget. Turn up the cold a little. No, that just turns up the flow. It's burning me. Okay. I know how to wreck this thing. It's burning me, Ange. Not in a robot. Wow. Alright. Somebody missed? Okay. 
this is the flow so that it turns on <laughs> How do you stop less it? water. How do you stop it? it and stuff? This button here. The button yeah. Yeah. You know how to do it? Okay. That's the flame kicking on. Is it hot? Uh, this might be okay. This is okay. Yeah. okay. Can I put it up here? Yeah. If you want, it doesn't really stay very. How is that? Hold it. Oh, you <laughs> Except now I'm not going fast enough. Well, I almost just got everything all wet. So what do you think? I think it's too hot. <laughs> it's all the way down. Yeah, bring the flow down. Or up, bring the flow up. I was just setting it down on the porch when I wasn't using it. Did you get the whole strip, Ilsa? I mean, Raya? Put it on the, you just, cool. you, oh my god, how did you do that, Mommy? Magic. Now put it on the ground. Don't drive. I'm not going to drive, I'm getting situated. Okay. Jeez. All right. So, we are finally, truly, hopefully. actually, <laughs> hopefully, leaving Georgia. We'll see. And heading to Alabama. We're Alabama bound. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It's but. only an hour and wait. Yeah, an hour and fifteen minutes away. No, an hour and forty minutes. The place we found that is just like when we stayed at today. It's another WMA. And I think it's less place. than an hour to actually get to the Alabama border. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get out of Georgia, which has been beautiful and wonderful and awesome we love georgia but it's also been kind of like groundhog's day yeah we just can't seem to get out of georgia <laughs> <laughs> every time we come to georgia we get a flat tire yeah, and we can't leave and now so the directions have us taking some pretty rural type of roads yeah um so that that makes me a little nervous but i kind of like that because we can go slow although there's not much sightseeing to do because it's dark yeah that's the one thing about this place we're, we're here in chattahoochee Chattahoochee Fall Line. Chattahoochee yeah. Fall Line. That's what uh, the campsite is that we're at. And it's been amazing and beautiful and we love it. We but were going to leave early this morning and we woke up and it was just so pretty. And we were alone and the land was nice. We the weather kinda, was nice and warm. And oh yeah. We kind of lounged around in the sun and cleaned up the bus a little bit and then had a really nice campfire. I didn't have to buy campfire wood. I found it. There was yep. plenty. Yep. And it was just a nice lazy day. Yeah. It was wonderful. Uh, so we did that, 
but as we're leaving now, of course, it's dark again. And we realize we're not going to actually get to see what this area looks like at all. No, we only know what this campsite looks like. Yeah. We came in in the dark, stayed right here all day, and now we're leaving in the dark again. We're not even going to see like what the stores and, and buildings look like. Nothing. I, mean, I didn't see any dark. stores or buildings for miles and miles coming in. Though. Not it's even true. a gas station. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. We have plenty of diesel. We have, yes, three quarters of a tank. Now yeah. that we don't have flat tires anymore, our fuel yeah. efficiency is better. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get going. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee in the bushes real quick before we go. Okay, and and we'll uh, <laughs> if we so can, we'll get the camera out when we cross the the border into Alabama. Alabama, Bama. We're going to Bama. Going to Bama. Bama bound. Bama bound. <laughs> I like Alabama bound. Isn't that a song? I have no idea. I think Alabama bound is an actual you song. You know these weird obscure songs that I don't know. But I like Bama bound. That's fun. Bama bound. Yeah. You know where I want to go? Greenbow, Alabama. Is that from Forrest Gump? Yes. Forrest Gump has been like a theme. Yes, he has. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great theme. Yeah. Forrest really Gump is from Greenbow, inspiring. Alabama. Yeah. Of course, we looked it up and it was filmed. The his house. Those scenes were actually filmed in, in Carolina, North Carolina or South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. She did. Oh, we gotta clean the glass. That's, yes. I cleaned my hat. Um, Ilsa didn't understand my idea. <laughs> I got this idea, this really cool idea, really and she just didn't and... she didn't pick up on it. You see, the pumps that squirt the windshield wiper fluid onto the the windshield they don't don't work. work. Right before we left, I thought we were empty because we did windshield wipers and no fluid came out. So I filled it up, and of course, me didn't think to test them out, make sure that it worked. Until we're like covered in dust in. <laughs> and I go to use the sprayer and nothing Pennsylvania comes out. or it something and smears dust all over the windshield. Nothing happens. I'm like, this is and so I've been telling Elsa, I said, well, we, we when we get back, we'll get that fixed. But in the meantime, we should just get a spray bottle and fill it with windshield wiper fluid. And when you need to spray the the windshield with windshield wiper fluid, I'll just reach my hand out and spray it, and then you run the windshield, run I'm, run the wipers. What I was picturing, <laughs> I just didn't get it. I pictured him like spraying it and trying to reach out when we're going 60 miles down the highway trying to clean it. I'm like, well, you're only cleaning your side. And he's like, well, you can spray from your side. And I'm, I'm imagining myself driving and trying to walk away with a paper towel. Not and it just dawned on me now, now, at this moment, that like six he means, later. Like, spray it out, like spray out the window and then turn on the wipers to clean it. Like, woo, just like get it. <laughs> the car would do, you know, just you do the spray part and then everything else is... So now I'm Normal. on board with his plan. I, I was like, no, your plan is dumb, and I don't want to do it. And I don't know why he didn't pitch it to me more. He was just like, okay. I did. I actually, I yesterday just, in Walmart, I actually bought a bottle of cleaner, and I was like, I just <laughs> I need to find a spray bottle. And she made me put it back. She's like, no, it's a stupid idea. Put it back. I'm like, oh, that's my wife. <laughs> Never really likes any of my ideas, even really when they're good. good idea. It's <laughs> <laughs> a really good idea. We should go get some, but there's no stores. So now we have, I bought this. Which I thought, if you want, and I'm to sitting clean, here thinking, why is she trying to clean this? The, the, the what? The, <laughs> what are we gonna do? This? Pull over every time we get dusty and, and get out and actually clean you know, the while windshield? While we're driving, I'll just dress <laughs> You could climb out there and wipe it with paper towel. <laughs> here, this is it says invisible glass, but I can still see streaks. Yeah, they it's lied. bad. All right, bye Gu bye. Streak nope. free, guaranteed. But it's called stoner in physical class. <laughs> yeah, it's because only stoners buy this crap. <laughs> Here, you turn. You clean your hand. Oh, now I have to clean. See, I was happy with my plan. All right, bye-bye. Now this is cool. If only the people who offer to clean your windows out on the street would do it this way. I mean, that's good service. Or she's like standing on the she's standing up there. She's really getting in there. You go, honey. You go. By the way, we did put one bike on the front. See how that goes. It's Logie's bike. Yeah! <laughs> she said we could do this while driving, right? 
I think that's what she thought I meant with the spray bottle. <laughs> Why didn't you get that off? I tried. You did not. Look how easy it coming off. Well, now that I loosened it for you. Yeah, okay.